hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is strep throat uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos uh, to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, and the link is just below this video in the description And we come to the topic what is strep throat you know strep throat is a bacterial infection that causes the inflammation and pain in the throat and this common condition is caused by a group of uh, a streptococcus bacteria and the strep throat can affect the children and the adults of uh, all ages you know but it's especially common in the children between the ages of 5 and 50. Sneezing and coughing can spread this infection from one person to other person. So it is contagious in that way. Now the next thing is what are the symptoms of the strep throat? Well, the severity of the strep throat can vary from person to person. And the, some people experience mild symptoms like maybe sore throat, while the other people have the more severe symptoms, including like fever, or the swelling, you know, or the difficulty in swallowing the food, you know. And the common symptoms may include the sudden fever, especially if it's over 101 degree Fahrenheit or higher, you know, sore, red throat with the white patches, and headache, you know, and maybe loss of appetite. Uh, swollen lymph nodes, trouble in swelling, which are all the signs of infection. You know. And uh, the symptoms of the strep throat typically develop uh, within five days of the exposure to the bacteria. And uh, not all sore throats are the result of the strep infection. You know, so other illnesses can also cause the sore throat, like uh, common cold, or maybe sinus infection, or maybe uh, post nasal dripping, or maybe acid reflux. You know. So, it's not always because of the bacterial infection, you know, or the strep, uh, uh, streptococcal infection, you know. And the sore throats, which are caused by the medical conditions, uh, usually improve on their own uh, with or without any uh, medical intervention, you know, in a few days. Uh, but you should call your doctor if uh, you experience sore throat that lasts longer than two days, you know, or maybe uh, uh, there are white patches, you know, with the dark and red spots, and the sore throat. Uh, uh, with a fine or uh, like uh, sandpaper like uh, a pink rash on the skin you know or maybe difficult in breathing or difficult in swallowing in that case you should consult your doctor for further evaluation you know and uh, yeah so next thing is how do doctors diagnose that uh, you have the strep throat you know well if you complain of the persistent sore throat your doctor will examine your throat okay he will ask you the symptoms he will see any sign of inflammation or redness in the throat you know so basically he will be looking for any sign of infection you know and your doctor may also check your neck for any kind of swollen leaf nodes you know and uh, ask you about the symptoms about the fever or any difficulty in swallowing and if your doctor suspects that you have strep throat you know uh, they may do a rapid strep test, you know, in the office. And this test will determine whether your sore throat is caused by the strep infection or uh, an other type of uh, bacteria or germ, you know. So your doctor swabs the back of your throat with a long cotton swab, you know, collecting a sample. And you, then your doctor will uh, send the sample to the lab to look for any sign of bacteria you know and the results are available in five minutes okay so if your uh, rapid strep test is negative but your doctor thinks that uh, you have the strep throat and uh, they can send your sample to an outside lab for additional testing you know and uh, these uh, results are available maybe within a few days you know now what's diagnosed and what are the treatment options well if you're diagnosed with a strep throat, your doctor will prescribe you the antibiotics to treat that infection, you know. 
and uh, these medications inhibit the spread of the bacteria and the infections to the others as well you know so the several types of the antibiotics are available uh, uh, or the penicillin and the amoxicillin are the most common medications which are used uh, to treat the strep throat you know and it's important that uh, you finish all the antibiotic course for seven days you know so don't so once you feel better do not stop taking antibiotics you know because uh, it's very important that you complete the course okay and uh, uh, in addition to the antibiotics there are certain home remedies like uh, drink the warm liquors or uh, uh, drinking cold liquors to help to numb the throat you know or maybe um, or taking over the counter painkillers like ibuprofen or uh, uh, adding half teaspoon of the salt to a cup and use as the gargles you know so this way it, these home remedies help to get rid of uh, or to minimize the pain and uh, to get the comfort you know well it can be treated successfully you know so there isn't any kind of uh, uh, potential complications you know uh, but if it's left untreated you know uh, the possible complications would be the ear infection or maybe um, like rheumatic fever or maybe sinusitis or like scarlet fever you know so it could be the complications you know but most of the time uh, they can be treated successfully with antibiotics thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you and goodbye